Hey guys, a very good morning. Today we have brought to you another session on competitive programming for lead code platform. Today we will be solving problem number four, which is median of two sorted arrays. This would be the problem which we will be taking up. The acceptance rate of this problem is approximately 28.8%, and this is comparatively considered as a hard problem. So I would like to let you all know how you can quickly make uh, use of various concepts of bitwise operators and uh, using these concepts of bitwise operators, you will be actually able to identify median of two sorted arrays pretty quickly. Now, so we have brought to you this session with Hackweda's total learning solutions under the concept of Python programming and competitive programming. So let's quickly get started with the program. Here, we are going to have the solution and on the right hand side, we have the solution also, let me just remove that solution and we are going to uh, understand the problem and we are going to define the solution for this. Now, since this is a hard problem, let us just quickly go through with the problem and understand what do we have. So it is said there are two sorted arrays. Array one is nums one, array two is nums two, which will be given to us in the boilerplate code nums one and nums two. So these are of different sizes. Let's say the size is M and N. Now we have to find the median of the two sorted arrays. So collectively we have to take both of these as a common array you can say. And out of this overall arrays with a combination of both of the arrays, we have to actually find out the median and we have to ensure that the runtime complexity should be big O of log M plus N. So as the problem suggests, we can assume nums1 and nums2 cannot be both empty. So that means you will be having two arrays Let's say you have an array one comma three, you have another array of nums two that is which contains two. So they are not going to be in, empty any anyways. And you have to calculate the median. In order to quickly understand what a median is, let me quickly draw that for you. Median is something, total number of uh, values divided by two. So that is your median. So you can see that the median is two plus three divided by two. Okay. so. Accordingly, you can quickly take out the median of all the values. Okay. So let's say if you have three values, one, two, and three, so you can quickly get the middle one would be two, the middle element. And similarly, in case if you have four elements, so you're going to identify the two elements in between, you are going to make a plus of both of them, and then you're going to divide that by two. Okay. So these are the two examples which are given to us in order to make you understand how you can calculate the median. Now, in order to quickly get started with that, let me quickly help you out with how you can quickly define this method, find median sorted arrays with two variables, nums1 and nums2. So now, in order to get started with a program, first of all, what would be what we would like to have? I would like to have the value of nums1 first, and I'm going to save that into length of the first list, whichever is available. Similarly, I'm going to get the length of nums2 and I'm going to save that into ls2. So I've got the length of these medians. Now, once I've got the length of this median, I'm taking this length in order to quickly check back that if the length, uh, we always want to take uh, the list with more number of elements as the first list and uh, the other one with less number of elements as the secondary list. So as So that will be easy for us to find the median. So in that case, we'll be taking a simple uh, comparison and that will be if size of LS1 is, is smaller than size of LS2, then what we are going to do, we are going to again call this method return self dot find median sorted arrays and we are going to pass the list nums2 as the first one and nums1 as the second one. So now in case if we have directly received nums1 with large number of elements, we'll keep it as the first list. In case if somehow nums2 is a bigger list, so we are going to change the orientation and we will say nums2 will be our first list and nums1 is going to be our second list. Similarly, now once you have got the list, so you can quickly understand that you will be having two lists and you can quickly consider the list as a, a common list. So. Uh, let's take two variables. Let's say we are going to have the left hand side of the list, which will start from zero and we will have a right hand side of the list. Now what we have to do, somewhat what we do, we try to make the double space on the list number two. 
in order to quickly compare the operations and uh, identify how easily we can uh, identify the median. So what we are doing here, we are multiplying all the elements within that LS2 with 2, okay, within that array as two, uh, sorry, the length of the array into 2. So somehow what we have got, let's say, in case if you have got a list nums2 as 3 comma 4, so you have two elements here. So what you're going to do, you're going to make the right hand side as 4, somewhat like that. Okay. Now, once you have got this, so we are going to quickly write a loop and we'll quickly say if left hand side is smaller or equal to right hand side, then we are going to quickly calculate the median using bitwise operator. So you can quickly take L plus R and uh, you can quickly put that brackets here, L plus R, and you can perform a one right shift. This can help you calculate the median. Okay. So here what we have got, we have got a quick median. Let's say we are going to name it as median two. Now, once we have got this median two, similarly, we have to also get the median one with respect to the length of the lists, which is available. So what we are going to do, we are going to calculate LS one plus length of LS two. So we have got both the lengths. Now we are going to remove the mid two, the median two. And similarly, we are going to get the median one. Okay. So once you have got this median one, now what we have to do? So let's just take the left elements and the right elements. So in order to do that, I'm quickly, uh, I'll quickly compare that with the, the negative values and the positive values. So what we'll do, let's quickly take up system dot max size. I'm going to take system dot maximum size. And I'm going to take a minus one here and then I'm going to check. Okay. So what do we want to do in case if the median is equal to zero? Okay. Then we are going to perform uh, an operation system of max size minus one, whatever is available to have the left uh, to have the L1 element. Otherwise we are going to take the median minus one value out of the nums one list and we are going to perform a shift right by one bit there. So what we can quickly do, we can quickly write this as if median one equal to zero. Okay. Then we are going to have sys dot max size minus one else. What we can do, we can quickly take up nums one and out of that nums one, we can take the concept of mid one minus one and we are going to shift that by one bit. So once we shift that, let's just quickly save that into a variable L one. Similarly, we are going to calculate the left two element L two element. So let's quickly calculate the L two element. We'll quickly say if mid two is equal to equal to zero. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're going to quickly calculate the size minus sys dot max size minus one else. What we're going to do else nums two of mid two minus one nums two of mid two minus one and we are going to shift by one bit right similarly we are going to calculate the right elements also in order to calculate the right elements let me just quickly take uh, let me just quickly take another one so what we are going to do we are going to check if median value is equal to equal to two into the list of length one uh, of the array length one we, we are going to return the system dot max size sys dot max size as well as what we are going to do in case if it is not true, then what we're going to do, we're going to quickly check back if nums one has this mid one and we're going to shift that by one bit. So this is going to be your rightmost element. You can quickly take up at as one. Similarly, what you can do is you can quickly check back if mid two is equal to equal to two into LS two. Otherwise, in case if it is not true, Let's say in case of it is true, let's just quickly put that into system dot max size. Okay. And in case of it is not true, we are going to have the else block that is nums two, and we are going to get the value of mid two with the shift one operator. Okay. Now here we are going to save that into R two. So similarly, we have got the left element as well as the right elements. Now we are going to quickly compare if L one is greater than R2. Okay. If left element is greater than R2, what we are going to do, we are going to take median of two plus one. So this is going to be the left element median of two plus one. Similarly, else if 
your L2 is greater than R1. L2 is greater than R1. Then what we are going to do? We are going to quickly cal calculate the right element, and the right element will be median of two minus one. Okay. Else, what we are going to do? We are going to finally return our max element out of the both and divide it by two. So what we are going to do? We are going to quickly check back max of either L1 comma L2, whichever is greater, plus we are going to quickly check back the minimum value of R1 by R2, R1 comma R2. Okay, because since it is the uh, the sorted array, so left will be small values and right side will be bigger values. Hence, we are taking maximum of L1 and L2, and we are taking minimum out of R1 and R2. Okay, and uh, by that, in case if there are two elements, we are going to divide that by two. So that's how we quickly define this hard problem, wherein uh, you can quickly sort the median. Uh, you can quickly find the median of the sorted arrays. So let's just quickly check back in case if the concept works well. I'm going to quickly run the code, and let's just wait for that. I've got an invalid syntax somewhere, so I've got ls1 plus ls2 somehow on line number 17. Mistakenly, I have got a dot here. That's a typos. Okay, let's just quickly run the code. Now, so yes, we got this answer accepted. Let's quickly submit. So now, once we submit the problem, so successful. So we have got all the test cases successful. So this is how what we can do is we can take up uh, this problem and we can actually sort the problem of finding the median out of the sorted arrays. Okay. So here a couple of things which you guys need to take care of. First, you guys need to take care of the shift uh, bit bit operators. How you can quickly shift and you can calculate the median values, as well as you got to read the L1 and L2 element from the list, as well as R1 and R2 element out of the list. Because in case if you are capable of reading this L1 and L2, then you will be able to have a if, have a proper comparison. And once you are done with the comparison, you will be able to identify the right element and the less element. Otherwise, if you have two elements at the center, let's say you have even uh, digits in. Uh, in the combination of both of the list, then you have to make use of this operation where you are going to get the max element from the left one and left two, as well as you are going to get uh, the minimum element from the right uh, from R1 and R2, and then you are going to divide that by two. So this is how we have sorted the problem number four of uh, lead code challenge, that is median of two sorted arrays. So now what you guys can do is we have already sorted previous four problems with Python. So in case if you guys would like to have an experience about how to solve the previous problems, you can reach out to our YouTube channel and you can uh, learn the concepts of implementation of these problems and solutions and the fundamentals required. Moreover, on our YouTube channel, we do have a Python programming fundamental uh, playlist as well, which can actually help you understand a lot of concepts on uh, programming with Python, with basic data structures and algorithms. So thank you so much for watching.